Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Krista Marie invited me to participate in a collab about re-gifting. And I am super excited to be participating in this collab because, well, really have never thought about re-gifting. I, I don't know that I've ever sat down and pondered it. So she sent me a list of three questions to answer. We will see where we go with this. Let's dive in. Question number one, is it ever okay to re-gift a gift? I don't know. I don't think I personally would re-gift a gift because somebody took the time to give me a gift. I just, I don't see giving it to someone else. I mean, maybe if it were like, you know, a token from the office or something, you know, like I got a gift basket or something like that uh, from somebody I didn't know or from a corporation. Yeah, I, I would say giving that to somebody else would be fine, but not as a present. I would just say, hey, I got this basket from my office here. Would you like it? Or maybe I get a tin of cookies from somebody and I'm trying really hard to watch my weight. So I would bring the tin to someone who might enjoy eating it. I would take one or two, of course, cause they're cookies after all, but those kind of things, yes. Technically, I guess re-gifting, no. Like taking a present, like somebody gives me a scarf, I don't like it, so I wrap it up and give it to somebody else, no. I don't think that's okay. Giving it to someone else and saying, hey, I got this gift is really subjective. It totally depends on how closely I know that person. If I know the person very well and they gave me a gift, no. If Mauricio gave me a gift and I didn't like it, I would say, thank you, honey. And that would be the end of it. Would I give it to somebody else? No. Number two, have I ever re-gifted something? No, I don't think so. Now I've been given gifts that have, I've used them and used them and used them and stopped using them and then maybe donated them. That is okay in my book as long as I've used it. But um, re-gifting a gift? No. Never. Number three, how would I feel if someone I gave a gift to re-gifted it? I think a lot of that would totally depend on why they were giving it away. If it were my mom or Mauricio or my dad or somebody, Melina, I don't know, somebody I was close to and they re-gifted a gift. No, you should have just told me you didn't like it or it didn't fit or whatever. And I could have returned it and given you the credit or, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't take returning things personally. If somebody doesn't like something, they don't like it. I don't, I don't want anybody to keep a gift they don't like. I have family return stuff all the time that doesn't fit. Mauricio, I get him gifts, not right now, but I've given him gifts of, you know, clothes and stuff. And he's like, yeah, I don't like that. And I'm like, okay. But re-gifting, see, re-gifting is totally different from returning. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd be real happy if I found out somebody re-gifted something that I will tell you the coolest re-gifting story ever. My grandmother and my great aunt kept, both kept every single gift we ever gave them. And not only did they keep it, but they kept it in the original box with the card or a label as to who it came from, when it, and right before my grandmother moved into her home. She gave us back everything we had ever given her. And some of it was totally useless, but I think the coolest thing about that was that she kept it all and she knew who gave her everything. And it was stuff she used. It wasn't, it wasn't stuff she didn't use. It was all stuff she used. Like one of the things that I cherish most, she gave us the White House Christmas ornaments that we had given her. And I actually collect White House Christmas ornaments. Um, and so my mom started giving them to her when we moved to Washington DC when I was in fourth grade. So that was many, 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 many years ago. And so I started collecting the White House Christmas ornaments when I was a little bit older. My mom gave me all of these ornaments that had originally gone to my grandmother and I just kind of intermingled them with my Christmas ornaments and it was super, super cool. I, I really enjoyed having those. 
and seeing the things that we gave her over the years, the different, you know, books and pictures and all of that stuff. So when it came to regifting, not really regifting, but more like returning, <laughs> but really regifting because they were for her. Um, that was cool. And it was, it was great. And when she passed away, I still have all these great things that we gave her. You know, I didn't keep all of them, obviously. But several of the things, like the pictures and, and stuff like that, I definitely kept those. So they're great memories now. And that was super exciting. So thanks a lot to Kristen Marie for inviting me to participate. And as usual, check out all the other collaborators down below. And you know me, I'll be making a playlist. So if you just want to lean back and binge watch all of them. There are some newer YouTubers that are participating in this club, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they're all about and what they have to say about this. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya! And I don't know why I can't stop staring at myself today. Stop staring at yourself. You're crazy.